Hey everybody, hey it's Peter Pomiati. Um yeah, let's see if I can what's the setting? Do 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 oh wait, that's the wrong one. Okay. Yes, hello, hello. Um so I'm still having trouble streaming, so I uh, might have a solution, but don't at the moment. Uh, but I wanted to talk a little bit about what uh, what's happening right now. Because um, I thought it might be informative. Um, I'm penciling a page from uh, the book I've been asked to pencil. Um, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Because, you know, I've been an anchor for over 30 years. Um, and this is just me doodling. <laughs> so, oh, let's, let's see. This is, get a, fix my camera one day. Um, if I do that, I don't know. I'm getting a glare, but it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna chit chat with you. Um, so yeah, I've been I've been asked to pencil a book, um, and you know I'm not gonna really talk about it other than saying <laughs> saying I'm doing it uh, until everything is way on its way. Um, and, you know, it's not that I never uh, penciled some comic pages previously. You know, I am, I've, I've gotten, I got two things where I actually uh, penciled pages on. It's the uh, the 100s comic anthology book two, uh, did a four page story and saving the world issue two, maybe. Um, where I also uh, penciled and inked, um, was it four pages or five pages? Maybe five pages, maybe six pages. I forget now. Um, but he couldn't afford me, so I only, I only did that one chapter. Um, not really worried about it at this time. He's on book 10. I, I doubt I'm making a comeback. Um, but yeah, so so I I penciled those pages and inked those pages, and um, I also you know when I was younger I I drew a bunch of comic pages, uh, but I've been inking in this industry for uh, so so long now, um, and I'm confident in my inking skills. Unfortunately, you know, like the world changes around you and, and you have to adapt. Um, you know, the real truth of the matter is that I, I don't make enough as an inker. Uh, and I've been hitting the wall, hitting the wall, hitting the wall uh, for most of my career. <laughs> Let's just face it. Like, I've never been paid enough as an anchor uh, to, to have a good... A really good lifestyle um, and you know for the most part because I'm a happy-go-lucky guy um, it's never really bothered me but you know I want I want more things out of life now <laughs> and um, so I am starting up you know where I'm gonna be drawing more and um, maybe even getting some uh, penciling gigs above and beyond just this one um you know i i, I mentioned i you know penciled a, a poster recently and and i think that went pretty well uh you know for the most part i'm really happy with it um there is some things about it that ah, i could have done that better um but yeah so you know i'm, I'm gonna start penciling comics and and Hopefully, uh, get 
you know, more value out of <laughs> what I've been getting paid. Because uh, it's, you know, for me to continue doing what I do, I have to make it worth me, worth, worth my while. Um, and I'm excited. I'm excited. You know, it's like I've been... Uh, posting a lot more sketches online, and I've been doing the, the YouTube shorts, uh, showing off drawings and, and talking a little bit. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it seems like I've, I've been getting more and more uh, positive feedback in a sense. Um, well, not really feedback, it's just like, hey, this, I like this, this is good, this is blah, blah, blah. Uh, only, you know, maybe only one critique along the way um like this if i close up on it it sucks uh which i will show you i will show you because i'm not in Baoist. um you know i really like it's not really focused that well but you get the idea um i really like detail and putting uh detail into my artwork you know as an as an inker it's it's easy to go in and pick out the lines that are working and, and work around the lines that aren't um and this this is me going overboard i intentionally uh been doing a lot of that lately like <laughs> has uh some other sketches uh, from uh, yesterday, I think I have work, worked on these. It's just like really overboard. Um, a lot of feathering, a lot of hatching, uh, and just really just trying to see how far I could take things before uh, they go past the point of no return. <laughs> um, and and that's okay. Like this is just me sketching, drawing, doodling, um, and it's okay doing imperfect drawings because I learn how you know how far I can take things. Um, and but the 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 real interesting thing about penciling a, a book now. Um, is because I've, I've only, um, what I, okay, so what I did is I, I jumped in uh, to the second page. Uh, you know, what I initially wanted to do was to thumbnail out the whole issue. But it's like, well, I, I gotta pay off some bills now, I gotta have money for food now, uh, for me and the cats and blah, blah, blah. Um, so let me start actually penciling out some pages and and make some money right quick because <laughs> uh, I you know it's like I put the word out that I have this you know, the alien print I did um, that uh, you know I did a commission recently that I finished that was the Hulk piece I did and uh, if anybody else was interested in uh, commission from me and you know I didn't get I got like a lot of positive likes and loves and all that um, like this looks great and so forth and so on but nobody nobody hired me. so <laughs> uh, I, I, I best go to where I am hired which is to start penciling this comic uh, so rather than wait and and until I got the whole thing mapped out in thumbnails I decided well page page two kind of is a good jumping on point where I don't have to worry about um, the main continuity within the story uh, it's a couple of pages um, so it gives me a, a juicy little slice um, and it only has one of the main characters show up at the end um, and I can start, you know, sort of working out the environment because, you know, it's, it's different. <laughs> uh, I won't go into detail, but, um, 
but yeah, it's it's really interesting uh, just uh, approaching um, thumbnailing out that page. Um, like everything I have to consider, like, you know, everything is going to be a certain look uh, and, and the, the amount of detail I, I I want to include or need to include um, everything from, you know, just like characters' hairstyles to the clothes they wear to, you know, things within the environment. Um, everything becomes a consideration. Like, you know, also, uh, is it day? Is it night? Uh, what's the weather like? You know, <laughs> And these thing, things may or may not show up on the page, like, but it's, a, as the artist, it's like, I'm starting to consider all that where, you know, as an inker, I, I barely need to know the story at all. Like, I just got to make the, the pitches look prettier than, than <laughs> they were given to me. Um, so... I've already spent the, the morning working that out. Um, I got a couple of scrap pages with various drawings and uh, little thumbnails and, you know, going from panel to panel and working out the page. Um, I got it pretty much worked out, uh, but I'm going to, you know, grab myself a new uh, fresh piece of copy paper and, and, you know, go panel by panel and lay out the whole page as I, as I think it should be um, and look it over. And if I need to do that once more, I'll do that once more because I got to make all the elements work and all the details be there uh, as well as the page itself has got to flow. So if it means me doing it multiple times and so be it, like, you know. Um, it's, it's important to, uh, make sure, uh, all, all the details of the story and storytelling are there. Um, and it's not like I'm going to, you know, I don't want to rush, rush through it. Um, because I want to, I want to be hired again. <laughs> I want to do it. A damn good job and now you know like who's going to be inking it is not myself uh so i'm strictly doing pencils uh, but i know the inker it's actually somebody i recommended uh and i'm going to be working with him um to go over story points go over you know line work go over everything like much like uh jim calfury took me on when i started uh, inking, you know, like DC book, Aquaman. Um, we went panel by panel, like just talking about art and style and approach and everything. So I, I plan to do that with my guy now. Because <laughs> life is a full circle. Um, but uh, yeah, so it, I, besides... Um, like the panels and the storytelling and all the story elements. Um, I'm thinking about style. It's like, yes, I love tons of detail and I'm sure that's going to be a part of it. Um, but I do, you know, I understand balance and, you know, not, not every inch of the page is going to be seen anyway. There's going to be word balloons, you know, and I don't know. I don't have a full script. I have a, a plot with some dialogue. So I can guess to the amount of space within each panel um, that's going to be used. Um, so I want to put the detail where it's, where it's needed, where it will shine. Um, and I'm thinking more along the lines of creating um, unique composition and and even 
doing something like since this since this is not going to be my book necessarily like you know i'm i am really working with with the writer creator uh and to a degree it's like a 50 percent partnership for both of us um but this you know i, I i'm just saying like this isn't retro this isn't something I'm going to be working on for uh, over a hundred issues, <laughs> you know, fingers crossed. Um, but so I, I could even be a little crazier than I would be with retro. Like retro, I have very specific ideas about how I want to approach it. And already with this project, uh, because it's, a, it's in a way, it's a very different project. Um, I find myself thinking in in very different ways, just just in in regards to style and and um, and approach. So so yeah, it should, it should be really really interesting um, how it how it develops and how it pans out and how how good of an artist I, I, I learn <laughs> um, along the way that that you know. It will be like because you know I, I have plenty to learn and really when it comes down to it um as an inker i can make anything look good but a, as a penciler um i still have a lot to learn although i'm approaching both similarly um in the sense that uh more organically than technically so like, uh, you know, like sort of Jim Lee or a Jim Lee type artist is more te technically or uh, accurate to like the human form than somebody like Todd Bethel. Like, you know, and I consider Todd organic. Like his approach is everything's in your face and and screw anatomy or or perspective if if it's a better looking picture so <laughs> I, i'm leaning towards that um because my skill isn't there for the technically accurate so um but you know i mean i could approach it where where you know like <laughs> it kind of looks like uh you know where i'm attempting to make things look more accurate but i you know I'm going more organic and, and seeing where that takes me. Um, like an artist uh, whose work I, I really love and admire is Humberto Reynos. And, you know, Humberto is like nothing's accurate. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, um, it's all like kind of style and, and, and just, you know, what, what, what looks better. Um, and... Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try approaching it that way, and you know, maybe my mind will change depending on how uh, the pages look as as I get them done. And you know, I'm sure I'm sure there'll be big changes from page to page, and 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 you know, my style will develop as I go. Um, but like I said, you know, I'm excited and and. It's all a learning process. It's it's nothing anybody figures out um, within one issue anyway. Um, you know, like like I said, like I, I used to um, call Jim Cavafuri uh, like every week, like <laughs> for the run we were working on Aquaman. Um, every week, every issue. Uh, we talk, we talk about artists, we talk about style, we talk about specifically uh, what's on the page uh, that he did. Um, and, you know, I would be inking a page and he would be uh, penciling, uh, you know, a page. And and I'd hear him cursing every once in a while, like, you know, because sometimes you gotta, you gotta fight the image uh, to get it accurate and and you know I do this anchor as well it's like you know I'm trying to um, you know I really 
when I get pages, uh, as an anchor, when I get pages, I, I really stare at the work for a long time to, to mentally soak it in. Um, uh, so it's, it's like ingrained into my brain. Um, uh, but also like, like I'm looking for, um, knowing how I approach things and seeing what's penciled out on a page and okay my strengths lie in this this and this and I could see where it would meld in on these figures on these backgrounds and you know uh, really like take things to the next level um, seeing what I could approve seeing you know it's also about it's always about um, communicating what's happening in this in the scenes you know like what exactly all the figures doing what exactly uh is the background supposed to be portraying you know it's all communication and storytelling and um so i don't want to i don't want to lose what's happening on the page because i want to you know flaunt my style <laughs> I want to make sure everything is clear clear as day and, and penciling uh, That is my number one concern like making sure that Everything you know people will eventually be looking at uh, Is clear as day or is as clear as I can make it uh, You know because like on the page I'm working on this is is not what there's not really action per se, but there's there's some movement uh, and I'm trying to make it clear as to what exactly is happening uh, as well as making what's happening interesting and you know and like I said clear um, so yeah it's been you know in, in a brief time I'm sure I'll be uh, sweating it more and more as I do more pages and whatnot and you know I, I haven't even like I said, I got to work out the page more in thumbnails, uh, at least a couple of times, um, before I bring out the board <laughs> and start, you know, penciling what I got onto the page. I want to make sure it's, uh, it's as clear and specific as I can get it. Uh, and, you know, it's like I don't foresee myself doing this forever this way, but, you know, because I want to. Um, make sure this issue really like you know works uh, overall and is you know shows me as a competent penciler uh, as well so I get more and more gigs um, you know I, I approached uh, what I did previously similarly um, you know the story for the Z100s that I did and the uh, saving saving the world uh, chapter that I drew, um, you know, I, I I thumbnailed it all out, and then I I, I focused on uh, specific things within the panels uh, that I you know like figure work that I didn't know exactly how it would look. I, I worked on that, you know, I sketched that out on the side, you know, just on a piece of paper before I. I put that to to the board and then you know it's like you're doing something really s small and and loose uh then you go to the board you know it, it becomes a lot tighter and maybe stiffer or maybe it looks awkward you know it's like so like every step of the way is a challenge and, and um an experience um but yeah it's like as, as I as I sketch more, just as I draw more, um, I'm less like I, I guess you could say I'm I'm less afraid uh, of making mistakes or screwing up or worried about you know a thousand things. It's like you know I I got that sort of early confidence uh, that I hasn't had it as an anchor like when I first started inking comics I knew I sucked I, you know 
And that doesn't mean I didn't have any ability. It just means that I was far from where I wanted to get, where I can be competitive with other anchors. Like I knew I had a, a lot to learn. My lines were too thick and the style of, you know, changed every panel and, you know, like just a hundred things. Uh, so as a penciler, it's like, yeah, I, I don't have every, everything nailed out. Uh, but I know I could draw, and I know I can, you know, put it in a good effort uh, when I set my mind to it. Um, so it's like, yeah, it's like I have that sort of confidence um, that I I know I can do a good job. Uh, I just, you know, I just have to fight my way through it, and and by fighting my way through it, you know, it's like it's not a bad thing. It's like you know, like plenty, of, plenty of people have uh, day jobs they don't like, and it's it's sort of like you just fight through the day to get the day done. <laughs> not not necessarily a bad thing. It's like we're all trying to make a living here. Uh, I just you know happen to be trying to make a living doing something I, I freaking love. Um, so yeah, it's like you know, it's like I know I can be. A penciler to be reckoned with, uh, you know. I, I just get get some books under my belt. Um, you know, this will be the first one, and maybe the, the next issue of Retro will be the next one, or maybe I'll have another gig show up. Um, you know, I I do plan to balance my workload um, if. You know, I mean, one day, one maybe fingers crossed. One day, uh, I'll I'll really have the opportunity to only work on retro and and focus on that and make make an excellent living doing that alone. But for the time being, uh, I got to pay the bills and uh, you know have a better lifestyle. So I got to mix the two. Well, you know, it's like I also had Patreon where I'm going to be doing a, a print each month. You know, if you're interested in uh, really supporting me, uh, do so for five dollars or more. But, you know, for any for any amount that you pledge, uh, you'll get a print each month if, as long as you uh, say you want the latest one. Um, I'll also be. You know, doing a comic over there with the co-writer. Um, also be working on retro. Uh, working on commission art. Because, uh, yeah, I, I really just want to double and triple and quadruple my efforts. Uh, because I'm, I'm on a mission to make a better living. And, you know, after years of making squat for inking... Um, tired of it, <laughs> and and you know I've experienced a lifestyle just in this past year uh, when I had a couple of bucks more, did a lot more traveling, uh, hung out with friends a lot more, and and you know, you know, it's like I want a better place to live, I want better friends, I uh, want to hang out with my friends more often. You know, it's like, I feel like I've been crawling thus far. So, this is, this is my chance to blow up. Um, so, uh, yeah, you can you can help me, support me. You know, I also have a link um, that's a, a paypal.me link slash Peter Pomiati where you can just click on that and, and throw me a tip. I mean, it's a one-time tip if you want. You know, Patreon is an ongoing thing, but you know, what's what's five bucks a month? You spend more 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 on coffee, or getting a donut in the morning, or bagel. Um, you know, I, I've I've supported so many other creators, and and now it's like I'm really looking to make a leap in my career. You know, I'm not only am I going to be penciling like I've been talking about today but uh, I'm going to be writing uh, and not only my own book 
Um, and I'm going to be penciling, I'm going to be inking, I'm going to be uh, coloring as well. Um, I have no interest in, <laughs> in lettering. Um, although I might do, you know, sound effects or whatever on, on the comic pages. We'll see. Um, and, and the whole, like, production of putting books together it's like I you know I, I may do some of that I may dabble um, but I really want to get a professional to do that you know design logos it's something else that, you know it's like I, I love I love coming up with the logo idea and concept uh, but to have somebody else execute it uh, who, who masters um, the programs that that do that well and whatnot um but yeah it's it, it's like the more i draw the more styles i see within my artwork like like uh, hey let me do this let me close up for you and one one day i'll get my internet worked out so i can stream better so yeah just in this little doodle alone it's like i i could i could see some of my favorite artists like you know, it's as an inker, I worship the ground that, that Bernie Wrightson um, <laughs> walked on, um, and I, I still love Bernie, and and you know, still really want to do a lot of work similar to his. Um, but there's so many. I mean, you know, uh, here specifically, this is like Mark Sebastri a little bit, and, and some other artists I know. Um, you know, even like Walt Simonson, he may be a little more graphic in, in the way he does things. It's all it's all like these circles and squares and triangles and, and multiple lines. But, you know, his stuff is super funky, but super inspiring as well. You know, Art Adams, his level of detail and execution. John Byrne, classic. George Perez, so many, so many. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of that Batman artist. Uh, Kyle? Uh, I'm blanking. Um, the real dark artist who did uh, Batman for years, cut, did 8 million Batman covers. Uh, so many artists, you know. Um, that Spawn artist that wasn't Todd. Yeah, I'm bl I'm going to blank on more names than I think of at the moment, but uh, also a, a huge Pete Craig Russell fan, and you'll see some of his lines in my work. It, there's Lee Weeks, it, there's uh, Gene Cohen. Man, it's like I always wanted to ink Gene Cohen because um, I felt he was never truly inked right. Um, so I'm sure at some point I'm going to pencil like Gene Cohen just so I could ink myself <laughs> yeah, and I'm penciling off camera I'm just just making lines having fun and that, that's what making comics is about right so yeah I, you know it's like I'm really talking about the the creation of uh, this comic book way before it's time uh, but I wanted to I wanted to drop some insights I, I've had just initially uh, in my limited, limited, actually making comic pages experience, uh, like I was, uh, uh, I mentioned, I, you know, I did page, I did page, I did pencil a lot of pages, um, before high school, during high school, I, f I forget, like, and they came out horrible, um, and because my, um, interest shifted around that age as you know with most kids um get into other things um i i sort of tend you know i got away from comics but um you know if i if i stuck with it i may may have jumped into penciling a lot sooner um but i, I you know i'm i'm glad that i'm here you know it's like if if things didn't change and, and inkers were as in demand as they were at the start of my career 
that's all I would be doing. Because, you know, like, Incas were making buku bank. Um, but it's also, you know, also a factor is I'm not a fast anchor. Um, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm not a fool. I'm a talented anchor, you know, and I know it's, it's not always the case, not everything I do, but you know, I, I, I got it in me to do a, a competent job <laughs> most of the times. Um, but you, you know, it's, I just freaking love comics and, and. I don't want to have to get a full-time permanent job for the rest of my life. I'd rather be working on comics, and i got to make a better living. That's what it comes down to, always. Um, and I'm positive at this point that it's going to happen. It's just i got to stick with it. <laughs> so, yeah, good, good to see you guys again. Uh, I'll be dropping more videos. And hopefully uh, I can get my streaming to work again. Um, yeah. Uh, become a patron. Um, leave me a tip. Like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. If you're new here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Love ya. Um, what else? Just, yeah, just keep following what I do. Well, you know, throw some likes everywhere across the internet. Uh, share it with your friends, this video, as well as my drawings. You know, everything helps. Everything helps. So, like, you know, if you can't afford cold, hard cash, uh, a share will do just as well. All right. Uh, till next time, be well and keep making comics. Yo!